Wonderful stuff. All right, well, ladies, if you are single and looking for a nice man to take you out on a date or perhaps be your chaperone for a function, a new Brisbane dating agency is offering companion-only men for hire to do just that. So joining us now is Anthony Clark from Brisbane Male Escorts. Morning to you, Anthony. Good morning, Georgie. How are you? Very well, thank you. Tell us, how did this all come about? Um, well, the idea first came about when I was living in London back in 2007. I saw a, an article in the Daily Mail, and it was about uh, a non-sexual male escort dating agency um, in the UK, and it was a uh, confessions of a 30-something career girl who pays for male escorts. Um, and apparently the escort agency had over a 1,000 clients. OK, so there, you would assume then there is a demand for this sort of thing, for a non-sexual escort agency. Well, certainly there seemed to be a demand back in the UK in 2007. Um, I'm originally from London and came over here in 87 and came back in 2009. And since 2009, I've basically been in the hospitality industry, uh, running security and working as security in uh, uh, top-class cocktail bars in the centre of city, city Brisbane. So I've certainly seen a lot of um, single older ladies out by themselves or I guess looking for um, a good time. And so that, that is how you would describe the sort of woman you're targeting? Is there a partic particular age bracket? Uh, definitely. I think who, who I'm looking for is uh, I, I guess a wealthy or career lady that's between 30 and 55. Somebody that's probably not keen on the uh, trivia of uh, domestic bliss as in you know, who's going to take out the uh, rubbish bin tonight, etc. Um, somebody that's probably too busy with work, uh, too busy with a business, maybe too busy with kids. Or even uh, the travelling lady, the lady that's up here from Sydney or Melbourne on business that doesn't want to spend another night alone and doesn't want to be out in the single scene or doesn't want to be entertaining the clients for a night. So how many men have you got Today on your books? Today she on tour. <laughs> <laughs> um, currently, currently, currently Sorry, including myself, I think Carl, Carl is applying for the for the job. Yeah, I, I figure Carl's just applying for the job as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, currently five. Uh, I, I, I get, roughly I get about uh, one to two guys apply a week. Yeah. Uh, currently the guys I've got on the book, I've, I've known for quite some time and have worked with in, in hospitality environments with for some time. But I'm definitely on the lookout for more, uh, more escorts. And in fact, I'm, I'm even talking to a business partner in Sydney about opening the Sydney arm of the business as well, right at this point in time. And just quickly, are there any prerequisites with the escorts? I mean, could they have a partner of their own? Um, look, definitely. The pre prerequisites are they've got to be handsome, they've got to be articulate, they've got to be intelligent, and they've got to be caring. You know, they've got to be somebody that wants to listen to people and cares about people. That's really the bottom line. All right. I understand you haven't got any clients yet, but this could be the start of it. We appreciate your time <laughs> this morning. Could Anthony, be the start of it, all right? Thank you very much for Georgie joining God. us and best of luck with it. Speed dating. You're most welcome, Georgie. Thanks so much. All right. I think yeah. it's probably time to all cool down and get a hit of the weather.